Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> To Dark Side Chat number seven. I am Lord Bruticus, and as you might have guessed, this episode has a bit of a Disney flair to it. And you're probably wondering, why isn't he wearing all of his Star Wars stuff? It is because I am wearing this T-shirt. Duh! Purchased at Disneyland, it depicts Darth Maul, Donald Duck, and Darth Vader, Goofy. Of course, it wouldn't be right to do this show without my traditional. Sith Belt and Lightsaber Hilts. One of the geeky habits that I've been enjoying recently has been Disney pin collecting, particularly Disney Star Wars pin collecting. Well, most uh, Disney pins can be kept in uh, pouches or bags like this one here, which I purchased in 2000 during the 45th anniversary of Disneyland. It's now well past the 50th anniversary, and my late wife and I uh, collected many Disney pins over the years, as you can see here. Uh, she loved Winnie the Pooh, and so we have many uh, Winnie the Pooh types. She also collected uh, Hard Rock Cafe pins from all over the world, uh, which I have here, too. Of course, I keep them in my Disney uh, case for uh, uh, po uh, well-keeping. And this is my favorite uh, pin here, Mickey Mouse and uh, the man, Walt Disney. And here's some uh, Star Wars pins in the case. I keep the rest of my Star Wars pins on a lanyard, which you'll see in a minute, and I'll explain why. Here's uh, Mickey versus Darth Vader, Jedi Mickey versus Darth Vader. Uh, Mickey versus Darth Vader again, and this one is probably my uh, most favorite uh, Disney pin of all time, and that's Jedi Mickey versus Darth Maul Donald Duck, and it is a 3D Disney pin, which is very heavy and also very cool. And uh, now the reason I wear a lanyard from the same era, and the reason why I do is because, uh, well, these are also some of my favorite Disney pins. And I wear these around the park, and I have an annual pass to Disneyland, and I, I walk around the park a lot, uh, usually in the middle of the week, every other week or so. Um, this one's pretty cool. Stormtrooper, it says, get a taste of the dark side. And it's a Stormtrooper eating a Mickey lollipop. Mickey versus Darth Vader Goofy. Darth Vader Goofy. Darth Maul Donald Duck, which is one of my favorites. The original Captain Rex, the pilot of the Star Tours shuttle. Star Tours. The Imperial symbol. There's also a, Re a Rebel Alliance Disney Airs, but I like the Imperial one better. Jedi Mickey. And uh, Jedi Mickey again with the training ball. And uh, the first time I ever had a Disney annual pass was in 1999, and I have this pretty cool looking annual pass holder pin. Of course, if you ever do find me in Disneyland Park, which I'm sure you never will, I will shake your hand and give you a Darth Bruticus card if I have one on me. Well, I look like a lost tourist, don't I? Now, when I'm not gallivanting around the galaxy in a Star Tourist shuttle, uh, like this one here, as demonstrated by C-3PO and R2-D2, I can be found pretty much in Tomorrowland, my favorite section of Disneyland, specifically around the Star Tours ride, Space Mountain, and the Jedi Slime Ball Training Academy. This is where wannabe slime balls, they call themselves Padawans, try to learn the fine art of saber combat. Look at Space Front told you, Kai, and activate! Activate! Go on, cut that shoulder! Left shoulder! Right shoulder! Right shoulder! Left leg! Left leg! Duck! Duck! Stand! Yeah. Cut on the same leg! Left leg! Cut on the other leg! Right leg! Deactivate! Well done! Force is strong on! Join me, and I will complete your training. Of course, Darth Vader and Darth Maul attempt to turn these wannabe slime balls to the dark side, but it doesn't always turn out that way. A vain but valiant effort indeed. Uh, Darth Maul's moves. Right here. Activate. Go on, left shoulder. Right. Left leg. Stop. I have you now. This side. Other side. Strike the head. Well done. Very good. Deactivate. Of course, my fellow Sith might fare better if the brutal one joined the fray. Wouldn't that be cool? The Jedi Slime Training Academy is indeed quite fun, as well as Star Tours and Space Mountain. Oh yeah, the uh, Indiana Jones ride is also quite fun as well. Now I do have a guest on the phone, uh, all the way from Disneyland, which is only a few miles from here. Please welcome to the show, Goofy. Yo, hi, how you doing there, Lord Borutikas? Just fine, thanks. Now, uh, 
Goofy, I was wondering, uh, since you're only a few miles from me, why is it that you wanted to do this interview on the phone as opposed to in person? Well, uh, uh, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, someone here wants to talk to you. Really? Someone wants to talk to me? Oh, hello. Remember me? Oh, no, not you again. Yeah, it's me, Pooh, Darth Poodle, and I'm gonna get my revenge on you. Oh, really? And, uh, pray tell, what exactly is it that you're going to do this time? I'm gonna kick your Excellent idea. Why don't you practice on your friend, Goofy, there? Okay, you. I'm gonna kick your here, take that! <coughs> and that! And that! Hey, watch out for the family too! <laughs> 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 uh, now, kiddies, um, Pooh and Goofy didn't really fight each other. That was just me wishing that they would. Quite an imagination, eh? Getting back to pin collecting, I have an announcement to make. It is time once again for another Darth Boruticus giveaway. It's not a Disney pin, but it came out when Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, was released. Now, I don't remember where I got it. It's been a decade already, can you believe that? But it was put out by Applause, and is in its original plastic packaging, unopened and in good condition. If you are a fan of Queen Amidala, or if, like me, you just have a thing for Natalie Portman, <clears throat> uh, then this pin would definitely be a cool prize to win, indeed. Now to enter, simply send me an email at DarthBoruticus at AIM.com. Uh, let's see here. Be sure to include a pin giveaway in the subject line of your email, and in the body of your email, include your name and where you are from. It can be anywhere in the world. If you are under 18, of course, be sure to get your parents' permission. You can send me your mailing address if you want to, but it won't be necessary. Just make sure in the body of your email you put your name and where you are from, city and state, or uh, country of origin if you're from outside the United States. I will ship it uh, anywhere in the world. Now, uh, the uh, winner will be announced in Dark Side Chat number 8, and I will contact the winner via email after episode number 8 has been uploaded and on YouTube and MySpace TV for a period of 24 hours. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email them to me at DarthBaruticus at AIM.com. Good luck to you, and until next time, may the dark side of the Force be with you always. Give yourself to the dark side. <laughs>